There has been an outpouring of support this week after the Carter Center announced that former First Lady Rosalind Carter was diagnosed with dementia. It's a condition, of course, that affects millions of Americans. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith spoke with the Alabama Public Health Department about the signs and symptoms to look out for. With the news of former First Lady Rosalind Carter's dementia diagnosis, light is being shined on a condition. The World Health Organization says more than 55 million people worldwide are living with. Dementia can result from a variety of diseases and injuries that affect the brain. Dementia can be caused by vascular disease, multiple strokes, uh, head trauma, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is the most um, predominant cause of dementia. Signs and symptoms can vary, but may include memory loss, confusion, difficulty speaking, repeating questions, or taking longer to complete normal daily tasks. You progress from just uh, short-term memory and infrequent. It gets more and more frequent, gets more and more severe, and then it starts to interfere with your daily life. If you, uh, you know, can't find your way home, uh, you you know can't remember to turn the stove off. Bernstein Taylor with the Alabama Department of Public Health says if you suspect your loved one has dementia, it is good to seek medical attention early. If there's a chance to start medication, you want to start it as soon as possible. And in some instances, where dementia in general progresses, if you are aware, you can make the, the house safe. It's always good to have early diagnosis so you can be proactive. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. In Alabama, there's about 96,000 individuals over the age of 65 that are suffering from Alzheimer's. Rosanna Smith, WSFA 12 News. While health experts remain unsure if there can be anything done that would prevent dementia, the National Institute on Aging says leading a healthy lifestyle may help.